we've got a scale drawing showing three tiles A, B and C. Work out the actual, oh, so this is scale, one centimetre represents six kilometres. Work out the actual distance AC. So I measure A to C. On my piece of paper, it comes to 8.7 centimetres. And each centimetre is worth six kilometres. So I need to times that by six, and that gives me 52.2, and that be 52.2 kilometres. Measure the bearing of B from A. So that means from A, so I've got to put my, zero, my, my centre of the protractor on there, and I've got to have zero at the top, and then measure around. And when I put my protractor on here, B is actually on the protractor. So what I'm going to do to start off with, to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to draw a line going here and extend that line so I can see what my angle is better. And now I need to measure this angle all the way around like that. And I can see from mine, I get 51 degrees. And bearing should really be given to three figures, so it's normally given as 051 degrees. And uh, sometimes you miss out the zero, but it should really be given to three figures like that. The scale can be written in the form of one to n, or one centimetre is six kilometres. And I've got to find what it is. So it's one centimetre to six kilometres. Well, it's one to something. I need to change it so that it's got the same measurement in each of these, and so that they're both centimetres. So that would be the same as one centimetre to six and is a thousand meters in a kilometer so it'll be six thousand meters and if you write down the units it becomes much easier because you know there's a hundred centimeters in a meter so i need to times this by a hundred so i'll times that by a hundred and write it down and that will give me one centimeter is six times one is six and i've got one two three four five zeros one two three four five zeros so it's one to six hundred thousand and that'll be centimeters so we don't put the units in so it's one to six hundred thousand and that's question four done